you're tuned in to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Incorporated. Uh, I want to talk to you guys today about the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu belting system. There's a youth program, there's an adult program. I want to talk about the age transfer or age requirement if there is one. I want to talk about is there a time restraint that you need to be per belt? What has to be done if there's any belting requirements? I want to talk about who can promote you and to what level and how you get promoted. So I got seven points about the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu belting system. I hope you like. Number one, the youth Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu belting system. They have five belts for youth and what's classified as youth is if you're under 16 years of age. So everyone starts with a white belt, then you get promoted to gray belt, then yellow, orange, and green. Those are the five belts for the youth system, for the youth belting system. Now within each belt, except not the white one, but when you get your first belt at gray belt, there's a junior gray belt. That's the gray belt with a white stripe in the center. So you have your white stripe junior gray belt, then you transition to a gray solid belt then you transfer over to the senior gray belt, which is the solid black, sorry, the solid gray belt with a black stripe in the center. So you got your white belt, you got your gray belt, but with your gray belt, you got your junior belt, the actual belt, and then your senior belt. And the same thing applies for the yellow belt. You have a junior belt, you have your solid yellow belt, and then your senior belt, which is the solid yellow with the black. And again, it's applicable for the orange belt and then your green belt. So once you hit green, you got your junior green, your solid green, and then your senior green before you go to your blue belt as an adult. Senior green is the highest belt you can be promoted before you're 16 years old. Now let me give you a bigger overview. You got your five belts in the youth Brazilian Jiu Jitsu belting system. But each belt that you acquire has four stripes on them. So as a white belt, you get your four stripes on the white belt before you move over to your junior gray belt. Then you get four stripes on your junior gray belt before you go to your solid gray belt. Then you get your four stripes on your solid gray belt before you move up the ladder. So as an overview, the youth system, the youth belting system is as such, it's pretty much, it's, it's a lot of rankings and a lot of stripes and a lot of belts in case there's a five or six or seven year old that comes in to start training at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu so they can get promoted so they can see their results. The hiccup comes into is if you have a 13 year old that joins your academy you may want to speed up that process because from 13 to 16 is three years. That's usually blue belt level. So you can adjust the progression and the uh, belt system accordingly. I hope that helps you understand the, the youth Brazilian Jiu Jitsu belting system. Number two, I want to talk about the adult belting system. That's more, that's more uh, universally known. Most people are aware of that. Everyone starts at white belt. Then you transition to blue belt, uh, purple belt, brown belt, before you get your black belt. 
those are your five main belts as an adult. However, as a white belt, you need four stripes, or you can be awarded four stripes on your white belt before you get promoted to blue. Not all systems, not all academies have the stripes in their system, but nine times out of 10 they do. Then you get four stripes on your blue belt before you get promoted to purple. Then you get four stripes on your purple before you get promoted to black, sorry, to brown. Then you get four stripes on your brown belt before you get promoted to black. So as an adult, those are your belting systems. What I have seen some systems and academies adopt, and I've adopted myself, is between the white belt and the blue belt, there is a intermediate belt, which is a white blue belt. So it's half white belt and it's half blue belt in one belt, which is issued between the white belt and the blue belt. From the white belt to blue belt, it could be overwhelming. So there's an additional belt that some people have adapted. I like that system, I've adopted it myself. Um, it's just an additional belt between the white and blue. So there you have it as point number two for the adult belting system in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I want to talk about age requirements. So first of all, 16 years of age is where you transfer from a youth program to an adult program. Doesn't mean that uh, you can't enter the adult program younger than 16. It's typically 16 years of age is the age requirement to attain a blue belt. And 18 years of age is the minimum age requirement to attain a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. However, I was on YouTube scrolling around and there was a 15 year old online being a blue belt. I am not the belt police trying to, you know, trying to make things right or whatever. If, if a professor of a certain rank deems you a certain rank, then you are that rank. I'm just going by from what the IBJJF, I'm going more on the IBJJF um, system, what I've known it to be for years. Do people modify it, do their own thing? Does it really matter? The 15 year old's gonna be 16 shortly. Hey, I'm just pointing out that as a general, general rule, the minimum age requirement to attain a blue is 16, and the minimum age requirement to attain a black belt is 18. Point number four I want to talk about is, is there a specific time you're required to be a certain level before you get promoted to a different level? Now, I've heard, I think in the IBJJF uh, ruling, you have to be, I believe, brown belt for a minimum of two years before they recognize you as a black belt. And I'm using that as an example. I don't know if they have any other time restraints. But I've heard like, um, there's a story, a truthful story that we all know, BJ Penn took three and a half years to attain his black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Clearly he wasn't on that time restraint. So is there a time restraint? I'd figure I'd touch it a little bit on this video that I think there is, certain people abide by it, certain people don't, just like that 15 year old kid that was a, a blue belt. It's, I guess it's all depending on the judgment of the um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu professor that will award you that rank is deemed it. So um, I don't go by that, it goes by time on the mat, but um, certain instructors will go by how many class attendants, that's one way of doing it. So there's many ways you can stir that soup. That's my take on the time uh, requirement per rank. Point number five, what is the belt requirement to get promoted? That is, there is no universal skill set required. Certain people are more focused on competitions, so their competition based uh, performance in regards to progressing to the next stripe or progressing to the next 
uh, belt. Certain academies are more self-defense oriented, so it's more skill set in that area of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu before you progress through the stripes and, and the belt and so on. Um, certain academies go strictly on certain attendance. You have a certain class attendance, you have a hundred classes, it's X amount of stripes, it's X amount of belts, and, and so on. Certain people is just straight on, on uh, performance that you do in the academy when you're rolling with different sizes of people, different age, different ranks, and will evaluate your skill. Certain people will have a testing requirement. I lean more towards on that. I'm not too concerned about how long you've been doing it, how many classes you've attained. I mean, if you have, if you test and you are proficient in demonstrating your skill set, that means you've put in the time. That means you've attended the classes. You've put in your homework. So there is no one set way on what is required for a certain stripe or a certain belt across the board. It's usually around the same time. If you're stronger in one area, you may be weaker in the other. Um, it's, it's an ongoing thing. At the end of the day, belt system is just showing your capabilities, your seniority, your experience, your skill set, and that varies from academy to academy. And uh, that's the beauty of jiu-jitsu. It's just never-ending evolution. But uh, yeah, there is no set requirement on what's a specific requirement for a belt level. Point number six. Point number six is who can promote you? A instructor has to be two levels ahead of you to promote you to to what you're going to so if you're a black belt if you're a brown belt going to get promoted to black belt a second degree black belt or higher has the capability of promoting a black belt if you're a first degree black belt you cannot promote anybody to black belt because you're only one level above the black belt as a first degree black belt, you can promote up to brown belt. If you're a black belt instructor, you can promote up to purple belt. Actually, up to four stripe purple belt. You just cannot promote the brown belt because you're only one level above the brown belt. So you always have to be two above the current rank of promotion. Actually, a brown belt can promote a blue belt, just cannot promote a purple belt. So that's who can promote you. Always a person that's two above the promotion you're going to receive. Point number seven. The last thing, it's how you get promoted. How you get promoted is totally out of the blue. You can win, uh, you can be a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, um, compete at world class level IBJJF World Masters, and you win that tournament, a lot of instructors will immediately promote the purple belt to brown belt. So that's one way. So you win a high world championship uh, gold medal, you're automatically promoted to your next level. That's one way of doing it, is a competition base. Another way of doing it is, um, of being promoted, is your instructor uh, will see your attendance card and you filled it out properly. You've attended all the required classes and then you get promoted to that stripe or then you get promoted to that belt is one way of doing it. Another way of being promoted is that your skill set in class at the academy has gone up. You're not tapping as often. Now you're tapping higher belt ranks than you. Um, you're being evaluated on your live skill set in the gym is another way. Another way of being promoted is all of the above. How you do in competition? How is your attendance card looking? How is your skill set on the mat? That's very common and there's a mixture of all three. 
Another way of getting promoted is having an examination, having a set skill set base of what's required for certain belts, for certain stripes, and you get promoted that way. That's usually basically the ways, the different ways you can get promoted. And how you get promoted is either after an examination, you get striped or you get belted. After class, you just get called up to the front. You can get striped, you can get promoted. You can get striped and or promoted right after a competition as well. So, but the common thing that's actually well, I think it's only seen in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is the instructor actually puts the belt on the individual that's being promoted. So if you're a certain belt moving on to the other belt, the instructor will take your belt off, put it over top of your shoulder, and then physically put the belt and tie it on with you. Tie it on, sorry, on you. So that's, in a nutshell, how you get promoted. In a nutshell, how the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu belting system works. If you think I've missed something, if you don't agree with something I've said or I've missed something, please leave it in the comment below. I'd love to have your input. I'm always in a position of learning. And as always, thanks for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you on the mat soon.